shortly. Okay. So, okay, Edward is here too. Hi, Edward. All right, some more people are joining us. Hi, hi, everybody. This is a beautiful, beautiful time at noon to just kind of get together and talk and do some, some chi talk. So this, we are launching this kind of uh, experiment of, uh, of opening this venue to, to a greater audience, to, the, to everybody really that wants to hear a little bit uh, more information about traditional Chinese medicine, about healing and uh, energy healing. My name is Ellie Cohen. I'm a Qigong teacher. I'm an energy healing coach and a medical Qigong uh, practitioner. I uh, uh, worked for years one-on-one -on -one, uh, helping people heal from chronic health condition, either emotional or physical. And I wanted to, uh, I started this Qi talk uh, because I wanted to uh, serve a bigger bigger audience and, and uh, extend this word of healing to a bigger audience so you everybody can have more tools and resources to tap into their own energy uh, to heal themselves because I think especially today in this time we need more healing and uh, the time is kind of very chaotic and we 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 want to see uh, we want to see ourselves want to find uh, power in ourselves want to find power in our community to go through this portal to go through these times strong with peace with love in our heart and that's what's going to build the next uh, the the foundation uh, for the future and auspiciously it's very interesting because in Chinese medicine this year is the year of the metal rat. The metal rat is uh, the young metal rat, and it's really symbolizing the destruction of old order or old uh, uh, institution and order and build up of a new order that comes up. So, um, so and, and we're really seeing it. And every time that we have a time of struggle or a time of destruction of the old, there's an opportunity for a new growth to emerge. And so time of change is actually times of opportunity. And uh, the two characters of a crisis in Chinese, uh, in Chinese language, uh, one crisis is, uh, the word crisis is, is opportunity with danger. So one character symbolizes danger and the other character symbolizes opportunity. So we have the, the danger and we have also an opportunity. So always in the time of, of, uh, of crisis, we have a time of opportunity. And uh, how, do we, how do we succeed going through this portal is to, uh, is to keep our optimism, to see the opportunity and, uh, and, to, and to act upon it. And, and a lot of people are experiencing a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety right now. Uh, and uh, how do we deal with these hard emotions uh, that we take on either from the news or from what's going on around us and uh, so that could be very very hard but before we go into talking about this in terms of uh, more energy healing and what we can do uh, I wanted to do kind of like a short opening <laughs> a more energy healing kind of like a little meditation if you will. So let's just kind of bring both, both hands into your heart. And if you'd like, you can close your eyes. And it's very interesting that uh, the heart is very, very important in Chinese medicine. And this, as we launching the kind of summer season, this is the, the summer is the season that associate with our heart. So let's take a few deep breaths into the heart deep and slow and calm breath and exhale from the mouth. And now also kind of moving the hands like so in a circular manner to massage the heart. Now circling, the movement of circling is swirling the energy is actually releasing energy and harmonizing energy. So if we go in circles, around the heart, just like this. Inhale deeply. 
and exhale from the mouth. Nice, and let's make two fists and knock on the chest. Exhale from the mouth and see where you are emotionally right now. Inhale into it, take that breath in. Even if you're not in a very uh, kind of pleasant or uh, positive space energetically, just bring it up, like, like welcome it and breathe into the heart and exhale, release that energy from the mouth. So like see where you are and go into it and tap and breathe a long, soft, gentle breath. Nice, and then kind of like move the energy down towards the lower abdomen. And move the hands to this side of the chest. Yeah, touch is very calming. Yeah, touch is very, very calming. Self-touch. Yeah, some of us still in a lockdown. We don't have anybody to touch us. <laughs> and let's swirl the energy around the lower abdomen. Swirl the energy, so big movement, just like this around the lower abdomen. Nice. All right. So that feels a little better. Um, so I wanted to just talk a little bit about, about the energy of anxiety, what it means in energy healing in Chinese medicine, how we can go about it. And then I can open it to question. Uh, if you click on the participant uh, button, you can see that there's a, a function called raise hand. And when we get to the Q and A, you can kind of like raise your hand and I'll can choose uh, any of you that raise your hand and then you can unmute yourself and, and ask your question or, or, or yeah, ask, ask a question about it or about what I'm sharing. So uh, you go to the participant on the bottom, on the left side, and then when you click on participant, you'll see on the right hand side, all the participant and you're gonna have raise hand options. So you can go there and raise your hand and talk and ask a question. So, so anxiety. So first of all, is associated with the heart. In Chinese medicine, anxiety is associated with the heart. The energy of anxiety is the energy of, uh, of, of really distrust. Yeah, so it's, it's an imbalance. It's, being, it's seen as an imbalance heart energy. And it's kind of like uh, whenever the energy of the heart is imbalanced, it could be overexcitement. Like if you notice a lot of time that we have something exciting going on, we also experience anxiety also. <laughs> so uh, overexcitement is very close to anxiety. So uh, when the energy of the heart is balanced, we experience love, contentment, and calmness. So overexcitement or anxiety, yeah, it's imbalance of the heart energy. What's called in, in uh, Chinese medicine, it's too much fire. It's actually too much fire in the heart because the energy of the heart is fire. So uh, in energy, in healing, uh, energy healing, it's, it's really the, when we are not trusting the world around us or we're not trusting ourselves to perform to be able to perform certain thing, uh, we feel ang anxious. Yeah, so it's really a, a, an, an energy that projects into the future. Like you, it's a fear from the future. So anxiety is a fear from, so you're basically seeing in your subconscious mind a future that you're afraid of, and it's about distrust. So really the question comes to how do we experience trust, right? How do we experience, how we trust ourselves? 
So when we talk about anxiety, uh, the opposite from anxiety is self-trust. When you trust that you can perform, when you trust the universe, when you trust the world, uh, yet you don't feel anxiety. You don't have anxiety. So, so what is the base of, of, uh, of self-trust? is self-love and self-love and competence. So, uh, so this is, uh, and also another one is being staying in the present moment because really every, uh, every negative emotion and uh, anxiety is one of them is really not being in the present moment because we're thinking about the future. There's something in the future that we are afraid of and one way to, uh, to negate anxiety is to come into the present moment. And to come into the present moment, uh, it, it, what, what will really help with anxiety is, is doing very simple things, like cooking, like uh, doing things that are here and now. Yeah, so if we look at the news, we're not here and now. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, so doing things that are here and now and doing things that are very simple, like breathing, like focus on the breath or, or feeling how can you trust, what, what can you trust? Where are you safe now? You know, like, am I safe right now? Yes, am I safe? Am I being loved? No, that's a very, very powerful one. So feeling like you're being loved, who, who is loving you right now? Maybe your, your daughter or your your, the people around your life, who, who is loving me right now, who I know that loves me. So if you experience self-love, it's it's, it, it builds self-trust and it negates anxiety. So this is a few kind of energetic way to connect with the idea of, um, of negating uh, the energy of anxiety, self-love and coming to the present moment. Now, in terms of traditional Chinese medicine, and Qigong, what are we teaching, what I teach, uh, there's a lot of practices that are connected to balancing the heart energy. And most of the practices is what we're going through now in our classes. All these practices that are associated with the heart, we're really exploring them now in the online classes. And, and some of you are subscribed to Qi Breaks, and this is where we're going into. So, uh, so the practices are practices that resemble water. Now, why water? Because if the fire, if the heart is fire and there's too much fire, what is too much young energy, like look at the people that are going out and ride to the street and, and you know, some of them are a lot of peaceful protesters, but there's a lot of anger. Now, anger is excess heat, excess fire, too much young energy. So it's imbalance of your of between yin and yang. So the way we balance this is with with water. So what would be water in in qigong is movement that resembles water. Yeah, that all the undulation circles like what we did. We started with circles, circle the joint. All the circular motion are considered to be yin, wherever an arrow a linear direction, like a, a punch, yeah. a direction like this is yang, where a circle would be more yin, more calming. So uh, there's a lot of sequences that we do now in, in Qigong about calming the heart energy and it all resembles water. Another one to, um, uh, to cultivate, which is water, is be curious. And that's less of a movement of but more of a of a kind of an energy state curious openness and if we're talking about breath is very long slow and deep breath so that would be very yin so into the lower abdomen into the lower abdomen so we kind of like breathe into the heart now that now right now in the opening but really breathing into the lower abdomen, a very slow, deep breath and focusing on the inhalation would be, would be really calming the heart chi and cultivating more water. Meditation would do it, qigong would do it and working, so this is, so we have few tools, right? So we have 
tools to work with the body, like Qigong, like the breath, like the, the movement, the undulating movement, the circular movement, the soft movement, a lot of movement with the arms for the heart, yeah? Because the heart meridian goes from the heart into the hands, yeah? We say our hands, yeah, we give love from our hands, we hug people, we cook our food, this, the hands are expression of the heart, our extension of the heart energy. So all the movements, movements that we do with the arms, yeah, are gonna be very good for, for the heart and to calm down. The ground, the earth is the yin, is cooling. Well, the heaven is a warming. So calming down anxiety would, uh, would be about cultivating groundness, feeling our feet, walking. Yeah, going for a slow walk. Why not a sprint? Because that's very young. So going in a slow walk, enjoying nature, opening the eyes and absorbing all the good energy from the nature would be very relaxing to the heart. So walking, feeling the ground is connecting with the earth is more of a yin energy, which would cool down the heart. Yeah, so, uh, so we started to talk about self-trust and self-love, and that, that, that could be um, something that you can connect with, how you can, and this is working with perception. So we have, we have, again, we have the movement practices, we have working with the physical body, like breath and movement, and we have the more uh, working with our, our mind state and working with our perception. Yeah, if you see this time as a scary time, it's going to be a scary time. But if you see the time as a time of reconstructing, like what we said, this is the year of the, of the rat, metal right element. So it's the destruction of the old order and bringing up a new order. So uh, life is not ending, right? It's, it's, gonna, it's just evolving. There's some storms. And after the storm, after the rain, there's new growth of new elements. So if we come into the storm with a lot of, with calm heart, with creative mind, we can actually cross this portal. So looking, it's, it's, so it's also working on mindset and how do we see this time and, uh, and, and anything that you're anxious about, like what, what are you, what, what's, what are you afraid from? Like, like really kind of like, understanding what is it, why, what is the fear, where is the fear, and working with it consciously. You know, I remember that when I was starting to teach Qigong, uh, I was, uh, you know, and, and I had a lot of people came to my class, I was really anxious, <laughs> you know, from, because I used to not, not uh, talk in front of so many people. Uh, so what I did is so self-love and, and competence, knowing how I dealt in the past with, 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 with a situation, similar situation really helped me to feel empowered, to, to build up confidence, competence, build confidence and self-trust and self-love. So, so all of these things are kind of connected together when we talk about, about, um, about anxiety and action and anxiousness so um this is kind of like a short preview uh, uh about anxiety and i just kind of like see if uh anybody wants to if, if there's any question now the question again this is a the first time i'm doing this chi talk so I, i'd like to have uh contemplation or question if anybody has you just click on the participant and then the raise your hand button and we can just hear you if you'd like to. And if not, it's okay. I can kind of continue um, talk about a little bit, a little bit more. There's a lot to talk about. Yeah. So um, Ellie, Wendy has a question. Okay. Oh, I see. Wendy, Wendy. we're going to unmute you now. Okay. And you're unmuted. Uh, Wendy, we cannot hear you. Can you unmute yourself? There we go. Okay. Okay. Hi, Wendy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see Thanks you. Thanks for doing this. Yeah. Um, 
So I have a question, maybe not exactly um, about anxiety, although obliquely I think it is. Um, you know, this is now in the aftermath of the murder of George Floyd. And um, I heard a quote the other day and uh, by a Buddhist teacher named Larry Ward. And he said, the gate of ancestral sorrow is being flooded in us. And I've just been thinking about the kind of group sorrow um, these last, this last week or so, mm -hmm. and wonder if you could speak to that, maybe from a, a Chinese perspective. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, thank you so much. So uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about, about sorrow and grief as an energy as well. And uh, Again, what I want to say before before going delving deeply into it is that it's not that anxiety is not all the negative emotions are here for a reason and they're good. It's kind of like having a we have a we have a rainy day, we have a sunny day. We cannot have we have to have both. It has to be. It's it's uh, really uh, how we identify or with with these emotions that makes the whole difference well, how do do we resist it or do we let it let it flow through us let it in and experience them as 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 sensation and uh and and welcome everything that comes our way so that's a very important part of um of of kind of keeping the flow going on when we talk about chinese medicine it's all about uh, you know, um, not resisting and, and and embracing the flow. And the sorrow is is, uh, is, is is really connected to the lung, to the metal element. And there's a lot of sorrow now with with the with the old order being destructed and 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 the, the killing and what happened to. Um, what happened with this murder and and how everybody uh feel right now is the sinking of the lung energy so sorrow is uh sorrow sadness grief or even in the extreme chronic condition is depression is is really a, a an issue with with the with the lungs and not that is 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 bad it's it's not good when it's becoming um a habitual pattern yeah so so negative emotions are not are not bad are they're here to stay just we we need to know how we open to them how we feel it so when we have sorrow when you feel sadness uh it's it's good to be with it it goes to to cry or to write it down to express this to acknowledge it and uh until it, and until it pass away so um and then uh, what happened uh, that, that anxiety or hatred can transform in Chinese medicine, it transform into, into sinking the, the sorrow or grief. So the emotion transform into each other always. Um, what we can, uh, how we can heal sorrow is by love, actually. So if you look at the, again, this is from, traditional Chinese medicine healing kind of energy. So we always go two organs back. I uh, don't want to get too much into it, but into the how we look at the wheel of the five element. But if you, if it's connected to the lung, you go back two organs back and that's the grandmother, yeah, of the, of the lung. So basically we heal sadness with self-love, with love, yeah. Uh, anger would not heal sorrow. <laughs> so what we want to heal sorrow is with love. Yeah, connection would heal would heal grief. So connection and love would heal depression. And I had a personal experience with one of my clients suffer from depression, and community connection, connection to other people, experiencing self self love, reminding us that we are being loved. And also the practice of gratitude would heal, um, would heal sorrow. Uh, and, um, and again, it, it's, 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 
experiencing it is very good. Experiencing is very good. Uh, expressing it, crying is very good. I remember um, I had a, 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 a client that asked me, can I cry or should I not cry? Yeah, of course. If you see, if you see children, they cry, they cry, 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 cry. And then they, after a minute, they just like, they're happy all of a sudden, right? They're all of a sudden happy again. And, and, they, and they're like, oh my God, what happened? They just release that energy. They let it go. They're really excellent in letting go. And, and we are as adults, we kind of like, uh, uh, we kind of been told to keep a certain facade or what we need to do, or are we bottling up emotion more than how children, we look at children, they're just expressing it out and, 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 uh, and, and releasing it. So it's good to, to stay kind of within, like name it, express it, feel it, and then transform it. And then transformation happened through, through a breathing practice. And with, with sorrow would be a, a breathing, a really good breathing practice because it's the energy that connected to the lungs. So one, one really nice movement is inhale and look up and exhale. So let's do it together. Putting the hands here, inhale, look up, exhale. Exhale from the mouth. So the breath is very long. And as you're doing it, what happened when you're moving the hands, you also stretch the fascia around the lungs. And when you look up, it lifts up the energy. Yeah, the depression, sadness, it's a heavy energy. Yeah, when people are prey, what do they do? They look up. They look up. Because looking up brings you inspiration, yeah? It, inspiring you. It lifts up the chi. Nice. And another one, let's do like this, a big hug. And then open the shoulder and stretch them back. And stretch here the chest. And then exhale and give yourself an energetic hug. Just love yourself here. So as you inhale, shoulders down, you open the shoulder, you stretch and do really stretch the chest is to put the, sh the, the arms backward. Take a deep breath, stretch these lines of tension here and exhale. Inhale. And then let's bring the hands to the heart. And just think about all the good things that are happening now, right now too in the world. All the love there is, all the mothers that love their kids, all the love that is going on, even among the protesters, even among yeah, I've seen so many beautiful stories in the midst of all the anger and frustration and uh, of love and connection. And let that in, and the breath in, let in, let this in come into your heart. and the hope that all of us, all of this will bring us closer together. And even gratitude to the fact that we are talking right now and we are breathing right now together, right now, right here. So bring yourself into the present moment of what's going on right now in your body
Maybe the air feel comfortable when you're sitting on a very comfortable chair. Maybe just the fact that we're feeling the potential for hope in this moment. And then let's smile into our heart as we put the hands on the heart. Let's smile into our heart and send a wave of loving energy to all the people that needs love and appreciation right now. So let us be the eye of the storm. The eye of the storm is the most calm, calm place. Yeah, the, quiet, the most calm and quiet place, kind of like very interesting that the eye of the storm is the most quiet place. And, that quiet space, let us be that quiet space to provide center for all what's going on around us. Let the love and peace from our heart send it to whoever needs it. Nice, right, so let's relax the hand down. Hmm, open the eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much for this. This, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, and so, so these are, this is really how we find, uh, we find kind of peace within ourselves. I'm just being told that we're kind of out of time. It's kind of short, this half an hour. Uh, so, um, Let's leave it at that. Uh, let's continue next week because I, I kind of really love this. <laughs> who, who wants to come here next week? Who's game to? All right, sounds good. So let's, uh, let's share more next week. And, um, and, and let's, I guess that was the closing ceremony. Let's actually close it with the, both hands together. You know, this is a sim, sim, symbolic, yeah, this is the heart meridian closing the circuit of the heart meridian, universal, uh, universal signal for uh, heartfulness or gratitude for uh, balance in your heart. So let's just bring the heart together and press with the knuckles on the right on the chest. And this is the sea of tranquility point. And this is one of the acupuncture point, acupressure point to find calm in your heart is to feel the, a little bit of pressure with the knuckle on the heart center. And the both hands together show unity, so touch and heartfulness. Nice. All right. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> and let's meet uh, same time next week, and we'll let's continue from that, and, and we'll have more people uh, talk and share. Bye now. <laughs>